Hello everybody, welcome back to House Heart Home. So this is my fridge cleaning video part 2 where I'm going to be tackling this freezer of mine. So I am so not happy with this freezer because it is so deep and so narrow. I can hardly get in there with both my hands because the whole door is covered with this ice maker, water cooler, indoor ice maker stuff that takes up so much of the space and I find that I don't have enough space for storage. But this is what I have and this is what I'll be cleaning today. So first off, I'm going to remove everything from out of my freezer and keep it out on the counter and then wipe things down. You can see there as I'm removing those spice covers, it, powder is just falling off. That's because I haven't closed them properly uh, and stored them in the first place. So it's my fault. And so all of the spice powders have fallen off over on the shelves. So that's my lesson when I'm going to put them back again. I have to cover them and seal them properly and then put them inside. So I'm using the same cleaning solution that I used in my fridge cleaning video. It's just water and vinegar, a diluted mixture and a microfiber cloth. And uh, I'm just going to be wiping down the shelves in the freezer. As you guys saw, there was not much of uh, spills or not much um, crumbs or anything to clean up there. It just needed a good wipe. Um, and so there was not much to wash or scrub or clean. So it really was a quick cleaning. For those of you who have not watched my fridge cleaning part one, where I tackled uh, the fridge side of my refrigerator, then I'll leave the link in the description box. And also I'll leave an iCard up here. You can click on it and watch it. I shared a lot of tips in that video and uh, also a lot of cleaning motivation there uh, my fridge needed a lot of cleaning so definitely check out that video for more tips and more motivation that's why in this video i'm not sharing a whole lot because i did all the sharing in that video so definitely check it out So once I removed these two shelves from off the freezer, I was able to see more spills inside. So some things, some liquid had dripped down. And also I discovered that this one shelf I can actually pull out. So that really helps. I don't have to try and squeeze into the freezer and reach way behind to get something. I can just pull out that shelf to, uh, to get what I need. So you can see the spills on the side of the door here and some stains and some crumbs. So I'm going to get to wiping all of that. And here are some items from my freezer. I just wanted to show you never throw out french fries, guys. If you go to a restaurant, you have remaining french fries, just bring them home and immediately put them in a box in the freezer. Whenever you want to use them again, just put them in the oven for 10 minutes and toast them and they become crispy and fresh and tasty again so here's all of my things from the freezer now i'm just going to be segregating them and putting them into groups of uh, like meat together all the vegetables and fruits together um, and all of the other cooked foods together and so on so once i do that then it's easy to organize i know how many things I have from each group and which shelf to organize them in so it becomes easy when I'm um, organizing like all of the breads together and so on so it depends on your freezer how your freezer looks like what things you have and how it will be easy for you the next step is when you have just two or three of something remaining then you don't need this big box to store it in so you can chuck the box and just keep those things like this big bag of fish fillets i had got at one time from costco i just have four remaining now so i don't need that big bag that takes up a lot of space and makes it seem like i have a lot so just throw it off another quick tip is to write down what that dish is that you're storing and the date Put the month and year so you know when you put it in. And I'm done and look at my hands. Oh, they were getting so cold. My fingertips were turning red. 
So I'm done cleaning and organizing and now this is how my freezer is looking. So I always complained to my husband that I don't have enough space in this freezer. It's such a tiny freezer. I cannot store stuff. And now after cleaning and organizing it properly, I'm amazed at how much space I have in this freezer. Even though it seems tiny and narrow, um, I still have so much of empty space. I can store a lot there, a lot there, a lot there, and a lot there. So I'm really surprised and I'm glad I organized it. So I'll just quickly run through how I did, what I did. Uh, in here, I just have some ice packs. Uh, as I told you guys, we're not using any of the ice maker or water machine, none of it. So as you store some ice uh, pack, hot and cold there, and then some spice uh, powders that I store here in the door of the fridge because I really can't store anything much. They're really tiny shelves and uh, storing them in the freezer makes those spice powders last really long beyond the expiry dates. So that's another tip. Now the freezer uh, section, because I have so many compartments, I just uh, divided them according to the items that I have. So I uh, dedicated the bigger shelves for items that I have a lot um, in quantity like for example this is a very big shelf here and then this one these two baskets are, holds also hold a lot of stuff so uh, two main categories that I had in big quantities were frozen fruits and vegetables and frozen meat uh, when I say meat it's mostly fish and chicken so I dedicated these two big shelves for that. Before I used to have them in two, three smaller shelves and that's why it was also cramped. So starting from here, I put breads and frozen tortillas, rotis, um, pastry puff rolls, you know, all, all of the frozen stuff there, the bread stuff. This is frozen desserts, so ice creams and cream puffs and all that. And here I put uh, all of the frozen fruits, vegetables, grated coconut, whatnot. Everything's in there and I still have a lot of space there. So like green peas, corn, blueberries, strawberries. And then down here, and I, oh yeah, as I said, I can also pull out the shelf that I discovered. So it's easy if I want to read something in the back, I can pull it out instead of trying to squeeze into the freezer. And this basket here also is a pull out so I stored all of our frozen fish and chicken in here and I still have lots more space I can fit in two three more covers there and this last shelf is all of the frozen food items that I have cooked and put it in the freezer say I have applesauce there I have some um, frozen spaghetti squash I think and then some frozen vegetables that I cooked and froze up uh, for a later date so all of that and this is just some spice powders again that I don't have space over here so I just put them in here with the food then I discovered I had four boxes of french fries so I put them all in one big cover that way I was able to reduce on the space that the boxes were taking and so maximize the storage space that I had that I could so yeah I'm really really happy with how it turned out it is organized I know where to reach for stuff what all I have in the freezer now and it's so clean smelling good and fresh and uh, I'm so happy so if you like this video guys definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching